mga kachikapay, welcome to my YouTube channel. Kami ng clutter. Okay, so first order of business would always be Erich's online classroom. This is where Erich attends her online classes. So last year, we bought this from a mommy friend. Itong desk na to. Because before, she really didn't need a desk. Kasi all day in school. Tapos kapag naman siya eh, when she does her homework, it's always in our big dining table. So we had to buy her this chair that's good for her back and her posture because she's in class online sitting down the whole day. So the first thing to do is to disinfect the desk. Oh, you're very messy. Hi. Hi. Okay, so she just woke up and today's her chance to help clean. So first we gather all our good mga pangunas. Work on sa akin ang good pangunas. And then I usually have a different kind of disinfectant spray, but this one I like. This is really all natural. So we'll do it first. So what we will do is portion by portion, top to bottom. So we have to remove it. Ah. We have to eliminate the clutter. Tatanggalin muna natin lahat ng laman so we can really clean it properly. So Once a week to check for it, scrub it out. Sabi ko nga kay Erich, you know, you treat your desk the way you would in school. You have to keep it clean, you have to keep it neat. Kasi part of your lessons mo na yun, di ba? Part of your grades yun. Cleanliness, neatness. Ayan, okay. So, lahat ng banyo namin, meron akong ganito. Meron kami ng maliit na palang gana na merong uh, scotch ride. Kasi kailangan tanggalin natin yung mga pink-pink. See that? Ayan. O, oh, ganyan lang yan. So, tanggalin na natin bago grumabi pa yun. is a very clean. Hindi naman siya kasi messy ng ka. But Erich kasi has so many toys na marami na kami na na-let go yung mga may sila-sila. She still refuses to let go for other toys kasi ang dinadahiran niya si Millie daw pumupunta dito alam na alam na kung paano umakit ng stairs at dumiret siya sa kwarto ng kanyang Auntie Erich dahil alam na may wonderland of toys dito. So kaya we can't let go of some of the baby toys of Erich because naabutan na ni Millie. Because you did this, you have to clean it. Okay, no, no, no. Clean it. Alright. Okay, go. Get the scrub. From now on, you're going to be in charge of your desk. Come on, squeeze it some more so it doesn't get so watery. Come here, let me show you how. You have to squeeze it so it doesn't get too liquid. Then you, you use a scrub, the green part. Because we're removing crayon mark. See this? You see what I'm doing? You have to put 
put force because to remove the skin, see that the stain is getting out. You're gonna do this every week so that you won't any more mess it up. Okay, I'm gonna dry it a little bit so you can see. Get a new one, squeeze. Okay, go. There's still more marks. You have to do this every week yourself because if you know that you're the one who's gonna clean it, you're not gonna mess it up like this, right? Because oh no. Alright, so we are now at the part where we have to clean her toy shelves. Okay, so I will explain. Carriage before always had sipon, always had ubo, so she had colds and cough. Kala naman she was asthmatic, so she was always naka nebulizer, she was always on antihistamines, she was always on mga gamot para sa asthma, and she even had medication na she was taking for many, many, many months until, you know, we consulted our pediatrician referred us to an allergy specialist for children. So, nagpa-allergy test si Erich after, you know, kunayat muna nila yung kanyang allergy or yung kanyang asthma and ubo. And when she was totally without colds and cough, we took that opportunity kahit during the pandemic na yun, to have her take an allergy test. And when she took that allergy test, we realized kung ano ang allergies pala niya that were causing all of these colds and cough and, you know, night time snoring and all of that. So we realized that she was highly allergic to dust mites and dust and cockroach. Can you imagine? All the while we thought, ay, allergic siya sa aso, allergic siya sa pusa, kasi she loves her cat, uh, allergic siya sa chocolate, allergic siya sa kung ano-ano, hindi naman pala. It was dust mites. And I will show you here what dust mites are. I'm going to show you kung paano kung ang anak niyo man ay may maraming allergies and you still cannot tell kung ano yung allergy nila. It could really be dust. It could really be dust mites that you can find in your bed, in your pillows, in your comforters, in your sofa set, at sa mga stuffed toys. Can you imagine that? And Erich loves her stuffed toys. You see that? She really loves her stuffed toys because there's a story to tell with each one of them. It's either it was given to her by somebody she loves, like ito. This one, you won this in Santa Monica Pier in the state, in the Paranda Carnival, di ba? And of course, this one was given to her by someone really, really special to her heart. Yan rin. Bigay sa kanya lahat yan. So, tinatandaan niya yan. And she doesn't let go. Sabi sa amin ni Doktora, oh, no more stuffed toys. So, paano yun? So, ginawa ko, binalot ko siya. But, nung binalot namin, na-realize ko, pag binabalot mo siya, ayan o, hinahawakan ko, napaka-dusty naman rin. So, I'm gonna show you what I do and what I have discovered. Pwede ko palang i-washing machine sa stuff toys ni Erich. And what makes this washing machine very special for cases like what Erich has, I will show you later. Tatanggalin ko itong mga stuff toys, okay? From the plastic, alam mo, just by doing this, nalangate na ako. I feel na nalangate na yung aking ilong. Kasi kahit na nabalot ko siya, ah, sobrang dusty. I'm gonna make Erich choose. What can she do without? What does she need to really see na naka-expose nito? And for the rest, I will keep it in a parang a big multi. Yung ano, yung plastic na lalagyan. Yung parang orokan. We're gonna vacuum it. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Okay, so to keep, meaning she leave it in the shelf. Okay, get the small ones that you want to keep that Millie plays. While she's doing that, okay, we're going to the bed. Okay, so ang bed ng someone. Of course, naman tayo, no? With me kasi, I have a system at home. So every Sunday, lahat ng bed sheets ko, pillowcases and my towels are to be removed and then washing machine and dryer. Tapos every Saturday, si Erich naman, ang ginagawa yon. Yung, yung we change her linen every Saturday ako, every Sunday. And then Monday, si Leon. And then Tuesday, si Claudia. So once a week, all of our linen are removed. And then habang wala, habang we na washing machine siya, that's when we disinfect the beds. We have a special vacuum to 
kill the dust mites. And then we also use the washing machine that I was telling you about. And I will be explaining. Because wala siyang school, we will be doing the washing and the drying of her linen today. Kahit ilang beses pala natin talaga siyang binisenta. 